Yeah, what the business is. What's up? Y'all know it's ISM. Top Tech Activity Business CEO. Y'all know we V'd up and we G'd up, man. Believe that. We are at the peak of the hierarchy. Facts with no fallacy. Y'all know what's up. Y'all know what the business is. But, um, I previously just made a TikTok. You know what I'm saying? Talking about some business that occurred. But, I ain't gonna get too deep into that. And TikTok, I'm tired of y'all with that shit too, man. I don't know if anybody else going through this, but when I be you're trying to record a video for TikTok and I press um post, they, they try to act like it's not it's not posting. You know what I'm saying? They talk about my shit too full or something. Like I'm so tired of this internet shit, man. If I wasn't a music artist, if I didn't have to be on this type of shit. If I was in a situation I was in, man, I'm telling you, I wouldn't even give a fuck about this shit, man. Y'all, I ain't gonna even talk all that shit to y'all because I ain't trying to beef with y'all or nothing like that because, you know what I'm saying, I'm building a platform and shit, but y'all really be on some bullshit, man. I ain't gonna even lie to y'all. It don't make no sense. I know y'all making money off this shit. Y'all probably millionaires down there, billionaires off this shit, but y'all just so jealous of people. Like, it don't make no damn sense, man. Like, the shit, why are you even a part of some shit, like, just to get on people's nerves and shit? That shit don't make no sense, man. At all, man. But, like I said, people got mental issues. Jealousy is a mental issue. I don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? I don't give a fuck. Jealousy is a mental issue, man. You around here. I ain't gonna even say that. If you think you could just fuck with people because you jealous, you got mental issues, man. You know what I'm saying? Because some people, they jealous, but they still, you know what I'm saying, keep their distance. They don't be disrespectful. They, uh, You know what I'm saying? A civilized, jealous person would be like, man, I'm jealous of that shit, man. You know what I'm saying? I can't stand that shit. Like, how he do some shit that we can't do. And some people, they just like, I can't stand that shit. We finna fuck him up. We finna stop him. And y'all the ones that need to die. Y'all the ones that don't, that's, that's not good for society, man. Because y'all can't even let people enjoy their fucking lives and handle their business and look good and take care of themselves and live life how they prefer to live it. Y'all bitches want to stop them and shit. Y'all deserve to die for that shit, man. Motherfucker can't live their life because you jealous. You need to die. You need to go. Get rid of yourself. Get, yeah, get rid of yourself like y'all been doing. Because this shit is crazy. It, it don't make no sense, man. If you jealous of somebody, why the fuck you watching them? If you jealous of somebody, why the fuck you got their phone tap? Watching every move they motherfucking make. Watching every bitch they talk to. Watching every motherfucking outfit they choose to put on every day. That shit don't make no sense, man. But fuck it, though. We finna talk about something else. Because um, Huntsville, Alabama charged my little brother with um a felony. And he wasn't supposed to be charged with a felony, man. You get caught, and that's the thing, man. I want y'all to tell all the street niggas and shit, man. Y'all got little brothers and shit, little sisters that start smoking weed and shit like that. What? What happened? Oh, I thought so. But, yeah, y'all got brothers and sisters that be smoking weed and shit and, you know what I'm saying, in the streets or whatever. Even if they just smoking weed, even if they just going to see the weed, man, and coming back home, something could happen during that time, man. The police could be watching the weed, man. And fuck around and jam your little brother up or your little sister up. You know what I'm saying? Factual. Like, they might be building a case on the weed, man, and just not trying to jam him up right now. And shit, they just want to jam whoever that, that's fucking with them. You know, it be like that sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Somebody could be watching your drug dealer and motherfucking jam you up when you leave their house or leave wherever y'all just met at just to see if you got some shit. Because they might not have proof that he doing some shit. But they might see you pull up over there. Oh, Man, that's it right there. But, um, yeah, they might see you or see your little brother, your little sister, and be like, shit, fuck it, we gonna go... Stop, we're going to follow them, see if they commit a traffic you know, violation or something, and pull them over and see, you know what I'm saying? But my little brother, he said that they caught them somewhere they weren't supposed to be type shit. He was with a bitch, 
he said somebody gave it to him and he wasn't even smoking it. And who knows, that's good he didn't smoke it because they probably would have put some shit in it. So y'all don't need to be taking whatever from people. I don't give a fuck. You talking about he the plug. You know what I'm saying? That shit real, that shit good or whatever. Like, don't be taking whatever from people. You know what I'm saying? Because he took something from him and held on to that shit. He wasn't even smoking it and got caught with it and, and fucked around and had to pay money to get out of jail and on color code, can't even smoke no more and all type of shit just because he got caught up because they playing games trying to set people up. Thinking everybody's slow. And that's why they're playing with me and fucking with me like that because they can't stand the fact that I'm not slow. And I'm not going to let them just do whatever to me or my people. I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. I ain't, I ain't scared of y'all. I'm telling y'all, man, y'all the ones who scared of me. And I ain't even no threat to y'all. I don't give a fuck. I'm just trying to take care of my people. Y'all scared of me. Y'all scared of what I'm going to do because y'all are jealous of me. And I'm about to get the fuck away from here. When I get situated, I'm gone. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know what the fuck y'all so scared for. Y'all done did so much bullshit to the point that y'all scared to let a nigga get they self, get situated and be able to move around and be able to carry firearms and be able to follow your ass if I need to or be able to figure out where you stay at if I need to. Y'all scared of that shit. That's what it is. But I'm not no violent person, man. I don't, I don't want to hurt y'all. I don't want to hurt none of y'all, but apparently you want to hurt me. Apparently you want to see my people fucked up, so shit, you want to, you, what you want, what you expect a nigga to do? Just sit back and let you do whatever to him and just go, all right, fuck it. Y'all jealous of us, so I could do whatever. Not me. We could take it there. I'm telling you we could take it there. I will, I'm telling you we could take it there. Train or not. I don't give a fuck y'all train for this shit. I don't give a fuck y'all got tased, maced, and all that shit to make it through this shit. Y'all still some bitches, and we still could take it up. Give a fuck about none of that. If you on this pussy shit, you on that bullshit with me or whatever, or whoever trying to stop them and arrest them for some bullshit, put false charges on them and all type of shit, man, you was a bitch. I don't give a fuck about none of that shit you done been through to be on the force. Facts or no fallacy, man. Y'all got me fucked all the way up. I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. And whoever siding with them, fuck you too. Because you ain't going through the shit we going through in the streets with these police and with these racist ass, bullshit ass people that's jealous of us and just in our way trying to stop us from living our lives and shit. Trying to fuck and jam our people up and, you know what I'm saying, fuck on our women and shit like that, knowing they gay on the slide and shit. They trying to keep us from being able to provide and protect our women. You know what I'm saying? So if you with them, fuck you too. Fast or no fallacy. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just being realistic. That shit really pissed me off when my brother told me that shit. Low key, I'm like, what the fuck? They gonna charge you with a felony? You know what I'm saying? My nigga, he got caught with like three, four pounds or some sh I ain't gonna say it wasn't no pound. It was like some ounces. You know what I'm saying? And he got charged with a felony. He got charged with a first degree felony. And he got, he was, he had like some ounces. You know what I'm saying? He had some ounces and I think he had some other shit. And they charged him with a felony. So how the fuck y'all gonna catch my brother with a gram or some motherfucking, um, whatever the fuck this. Whatever that shit was, man, it wasn't it wasn't worth no felony though. I can't even remember. It was like one of them um marijuana pens, I think he said. You know what I'm saying? The TAC oil or whatever that shit is. Yeah, it was one of those. But um Yeah, man, that shit crazy, man. This shit wicked, and y'all got, and Huntsville jail so fucking crowded, man. That's how I know y'all on some bullshit. Huntsville jail so fucking crowded. That motherfucker so big, man. Huntsville jail is so big. It's like a major city. You know what I'm saying? You would think Atlanta jail be big. Just, man, bro, Huntsville got a big ass jail, man. That motherfucker stay full. So it ain't like y'all hurting for some money. It ain't like y'all just got to lock somebody up for nothing. Y'all getting plenty of money. Locking motherfuckers up for stupid shit. 
So I guess it. Fuck it. Might as well just put false charges on somebody they ain't gonna know, right? Like, fuck it. Like, might as well hit him with some shit he, you know what I'm saying? And it, it, it ain't really what it is. He ain't gonna know. He young. Say, fuck it. He, he 20 years old. He don't know about the law. And like, his brother the smart one. His brother the street one. Fuck it. We gonna lock him up. Try to, you know what I'm saying? Shit crazy, man. So I'm, I'm letting y'all know, man. So basically, if y'all street, you know what I'm saying? Y'all on the police radar. Basically, y'all brothers and y'all sisters on the police radar, too. They'll try to jam. They'll try to jam them up. They they don't give a fuck if they they going to school, and work and coming home. They don't give a fuck if they smoking some weed. They'll lock their ass up for that shit, man. They don't give a fuck. They they don't give a fuck, man. They don't give a fuck, bro. These people will put a motherfucking felony on your people, man. And it ain't nothing but a misdemeanor. And ain't nobody gonna know but you. That. It's, that ain't really real. But a lot of y'all, y'all be out here in these streets and y'all don't even know how much certain shit carry. Y'all don't even know if y'all get caught with an ounce, what that shit'll be. Y'all don't know if y'all get caught with a pound. Y'all don't know if y'all get caught with a motherfucking half a gram, what that shit'll be. And y'all supposed to be street. I know everybody ain't up on that shit, but I'm just saying though, man, like, you need to know what the fuck going on if you out here. And even if you not, Cause you still might have people that's out here and shit. Y'all might need to talk about that shit. Y'all might need to know what the fuck going on. So when you go to court, or uh, you know what I'm saying, the police jam you up and catch you with some shit and try to charge you with something that you don't deserve to be charged with, you gonna know. And if you smart, you might just shut the fuck up. And you know what I'm saying. But sometimes motherfuckers get charged with that felony and they don't got the money to buy it out. So it's different. You know what I'm saying? But still, or even if they try to charge you with some shit that's not accurate, you can take their ass to court. And that's what's going to get their mind right. Once we, once they realize that, hey, we ain't going to be able to do their ass whatever, they'll chill out with that shit. Most of them going to kill themselves because they can't stand living life without fucking with us, man. Most of them people live to fuck with us, man. That what the fuck they here for, man. That what make them feel good, man. I'm telling you, man, it got to be. Because these people ain't doing shit with their life but trying to stop somebody else from living life. So that got to be what they live for. It got to be what they live for, man. This shit real wicked out here. But, hey, this the world we live in, man. This the world we live in. Believe that. But yeah, though, I'm going to need y'all to be on y'all brothers and sisters, man. I told my brother one day, you know what I'm saying? Because you my little brother, man. I'm a real street nigga, man. You're going to fuck up the reputability. You know what I'm saying? I don't give a fuck. Like, it is what it is. I was like, man, you need to know what a gram is. You need to know what a motherfucking what a half a gram is. You need to know what the what a motherfucking full gram is. You need to know what the fuck going on. If you around here buying weed, you need to know what the fuck you paying for it. You know what I'm saying? Don't be around here paying motherfucking, buying a fucking half and you paying for an ounce, you paying ounce prices for a half or some shit. Like, man, what the fuck? Niggas getting over on you, giving you bullshit ass, pussy ass, lame nigga prices and shit. That's the state. They tax lame ass, pussy ass niggas, man. That's who get taxed. Real niggas don't get taxed like that, man. So y'all need to know what the fuck y'all got going on. Nigga try to text y'all. Man, let a nigga know, man, I ain't stupid. Don't get mad the first time they try to do that shit to you because niggas just be trying niggas and shit. Once a nigga, once you tell a nigga, man, look, I already know what the fuck going on. I know what I'm buying. I know what the shit is. So don't try to, you know what I'm saying? Don't try to handle me like that, man. You might go to California to the dispensary and they might try to cheat you in the dispensary. They might try to cheat you in Vegas in the dispensary. You fuck around, they put that shit on the scale, you be like, nah, that ain't it. You know what I'm saying? I need the full motherfucking gram. I need the full half. I need the full, the whole ounce. You know what I'm saying? I need that, man. I, I don't even cease it, man, because they will get over on you. You know what I'm saying? I'm the type that a motherfucker look out for you, though. I'm going to give you more than what you paid for. Niggas not doing that. They'll try to give you less than what you paid for. Believe that. You know what I'm saying? 
And I definitely will have a dispensary open in Vegas. I don't know about California. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to lie. But I'm definitely going to have a dispensary open. So when y'all come to Club High, you know what I'm saying? Y'all definitely going to be able to go to the dispensary. And I'm going to keep one close. And it's going to be decent prices. You know what I'm saying? And it ain't going to be that bullshit that they be smoking. You know what I'm saying? So we definitely finna have that dispensary. We definitely going to be posted up at the dispensary so y'all can pull up and shop with us. You know what I'm saying? We might call it top tier dispensary or some shit. I don't know. I'll figure it out. I'll figure out a name for that shit. But, um, yeah, man, this shit real, man. Make sure y'all people up on their own game and shit. That's the least y'all can do. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know they going, they smoking weed. You know what I'm saying? Let them know. Just fuck with them. Say some shit like, man, what that is right there? How much that is? You know what I'm saying? You seeing with a couple grams or something? You seeing with an eighth or something? You know what I'm saying? I know how to eyeball shit. I know what I know what something is. I don't gotta use no scale. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I'm just that type of nigga. I'm an eyeballer. Like some niggas good at that shit. You know what I'm saying? But I still prefer to use a scale. But I will eyeball some shit. If I see something, I'll know what it is. You know what I'm saying? So I told my brother, like, man, look, if you're gonna be buying weed, you need to know what the fuck you paying for, man. You need to know who you dealing with, and don't be buying weed from just anybody. Can don't just buy weed from and don't just buy nothing from just anybody, man. Y'all need to know who the fuck y'all dealing with and do y'all research and you know what I'm saying? It's cool to like, you know what I'm saying? You see somebody, you meet them on the first day, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, and you just snap some shit. That's cool. Like snap something light just to see what that shit is, see what it's talking about. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, see, do your research on who the fuck you dealing with. Tell them who the fuck you dealing with. You know what I'm saying? So but if you feel like you're going to be shopping with them, sometimes we'll see one weed, man, and we'll never see their ad no more. You know what I'm saying? So it just be like that sometimes. But the thing is, man, it's real out here in these streets. You know what I'm saying? People doing fake shit, but it's real. When I say it's real, it's serious. That's what I mean by real, serious. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of people doing a lot of flaw, bogus, fake shit. So don't think when I just say, oh, it's real out here, like everybody real. I'm talking about it's serious out here. You know what I'm saying? That's what I mean when I say real. Serious. In this in this case. But factual no fallacy though, I'm finna leave, you know, well I'm not leaving, I'm eating right now. Definitely fit oh shit. I almost dropped the food. I would have been so mad if I'd have dropped my food. I would have been, I wouldn't have been that mad, but I would have been mad, though. But, yeah, though, so, facts with no fallacy. Y'all know what the business is, man. Y'all know it's ISM, Top Tech Activity Business CEO. Sign on the ism. Y'all know we V'd up and we G'd up, man. Believe that. Y'all know what sound, man. Y'all know what the fuck business is. Get at me. I'm going to get at y'all. We outside in Atlanta. Feel good. Said it. Nice Atlanta night. You know what I'm saying? Believe that. Facts or no fellas, get at me, I'ma get at y'all, y'all know what's happening, y'all know what the business is.